guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Z Notches, and we're back at again for another GPO video. Now, today I'll be going through the best method I use to grind fruits in game. So, let's get right to the video. Alright, so first thing you want to do is you want to set your spawn point at Arlong because this is where I've been grinding Arlong for what well, the fruits for about ever since I bought the coffin boat. Now this is a coffin boat method. Like I don't know if it works as good as the coffin boat with other boats, but this is a coffin boat method. So you will need the coffin boat to do this. But uh, don't get discouraged because there are other ways you still can do this. So now, uh, yeah, so what you want to do is set the spawn point at uh, Arlong. And the only reason you want to set the spawn point at Arlong is say because you have a devil fruit and it's not Magu or ice fruit. It will make this harder for you and you might die a lot by falling in the water. So yeah, so what you want to do is you just want to spawn your boat and go straight out. Now I'll start from the docks and go straight out from here. Now usually once you are farther enough from an island you really can't see it, that's when the boats like to spawn. So that's what I do, I just go all the way out into the boat spawn. Alright, so now I'm at a distance where you can't see the island no more, so this is when the boats are spawning, as you see. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I just turn my boat this way, so that uh, just in case a galleon spawn, I can just head straight down towards the uh, Arlong uh, map, and then I can protect myself. But uh, this is the best way I have found out how to do it. Like I don't know if other people know about this. I heard people say the Arlong method, but I've been holding out on this video for like a month now. I've just been grinding a lot. I did have every fruit in the game, but I've been training a lot and giving it to friends, so the only fruit I got right now is Mirror, of course. And I just had Pika, I just switched back out and put Mago to ground more because the update about to come out soon. So yeah. But yeah, this is what I do literally all day if I don't get tired or bored of it. I just sit here and grind and shit like this. And as you see, it's real quicker with Magu. Magu, is, I would say, is the best fruit to use for grinding ships. And if anybody else say Ice or Pika, y'all yeah, did is tripping balls because Magu is the best. But let's say if you don't have Magu or Ice, so what you would do is, I'll just hop in the boat and I'll just jump around until I get like two to three ships to spawn in. So I'm going to speed this up, process up, so y'all want to sit here and wait. Alright, we got two boats so far. Uh, I'm just going to head down to the spot real quick. Because usually when I get back to the spot, the third one should have spawned. And I don't want this marine ship that spawned first to despawn, so yeah. Okay, so once you got all the boats you feel like that you need for fire oh this third one right there. So once you get your three boats or two boats, or how many boats you want, or a galleon, uh, you want to come down here. And then usually for the galleons, I, ch I go that way. And for the small ships, I go this way. But it really don't matter for the small ships, you go either or. But the galleons, you want to go this way because the galleons get stuck right here in this corner. And they can't really do nothing else. You can just hop on the boat and kill them. But let's go this way. And you just sit here and smack them. And a double job. And as y'all see, they hit the side of the walls and they can't hit your boat. So your boat is 100% protected. Let me get this last one right here. Alright. Now every so often they might the cannons might glitch on the water and hit right here in this area and hit your boat. It'll do like 30 damage, you use easy repair and all that. But as you see mine took no damage at all, so this is why it's the best method. And one other thing to keep in mind is like I said for the galleons, you want to stay on that side because uh the galleons will be able to come around and then get stuck right here and be able to shoot your boat. Now I'm trying to get a galleon to spawn and show y'all what that looks like. So let me do this. Actually, let me see what this food is first. It's probably a suki. Yep, a suki. Anyways, put that in there. 
Alright. And I'll be right back, guys. And I'll try to get a Galleon spawn once it shows. Actually, hold on. One more thing. If you, you can actually despawn your boat. And the ships will despawn. Because if you keep them in spawn, no ships will spawn until those three despawn. So, it won't be in stuck in combat and nothing like that. And if you ever do get stuck in combat, just like walk away from the boat and you'll be able to despawn. But yeah, I'm going to try to get a Galleon spawn and I'll be right back. Oh, look at that. Guy spawned already. That is wonderful. Alright. So, when I have a galleon spawn, I wait till it shoots its first cannons and then I start moving because it gives it more time for the ship to spawn. Alright, now I start moving. I see the one spawn right there. Alright, the galleons in this game are pretty much almost as fast as the coffee boat for some reason. But like I said, when you go, when the galleon spawns, we'll go to the right side. So that's what we're going to do. If I can do this perfectly. Hit a hard right. You want this wall, maybe? Nope. Boom. Simple. Stop right here. As you see, the galleon will go around. And then you get stuck right here in this corner. And it will not move from that spot at all. And you just hop up here and go crazy. Boom. It's literally that simple, guys. I'm gonna kill this dude right here real quick. Alright. Now I can just despawn. Look. Now I can do it all over again. But yeah, so that's the way I've been farming ships, guys. Now, um, y'all probably have some other methods y'all like, but like I said, I don't know if, uh, people have found this out already or not but I have heard people say they do the all along method so I decided to make a video on it because like I know I was one of the first people to find this I just been too lazy to make a video on it and I don't know if anybody else made a video so yeah uh that's the best way to find Logias to me, for me instead of like way from the spawn I found about like 10 Logias farming this method so yeah it's really a good method and I provide y'all to use it I know um the coffin boat costs a lot. It costs around twenty-two dollars exactly for the boat, which is two thousand two hundred twenty-two robux. But if y'all get it, it'll be worth it while. But if y'all could just wait until the tracker boat come out next week, eh, that would be best for y'all. But uh, yeah, it's been your boy Zenosius, and I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.